Hey, check this out. We're going to show you something pretty cool today. The, the man videotaping right now, Brock, is building this cafe racer. He's got a cool tail section that's going on here. He built some killer exhaust. Check this out. Way cool, huh? And then look at his handbars here. Let's see if this looks familiar. Why don't you get from right here? Right here. Okay, so you guys, a million of you out there have been putting these Clubman bars on. And to do this a lot of times to clean this up, you're going to go to some type of aftermarket perch for your clutch cable. Make sense? Well, we don't like it, and I'll show you why. Come here. Another thing that Brock's doing a nice job of, look at his cable routing here. You see a lot of them where it has huge cables. So he's doing a, he's doing a nice job here of going to have this look at pretty clean. Now, here's this aftermarket perch. And I'm going to tell you why I don't like it, and I was showing Brock this. So let's uh, get some light on here just in case. So the idea of this clutch perch is that it's, it's wicked cool for the idea of how cool it is. But you're going to see that this does not rotate. And when you spin this around, this is how you actually adjust the clutch free play. So you'll see here, as I rotate this, do you see how that's moving out? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is not rotating, this is, and then you're gonna set your free play. So that would be too tight, so I'd rotate this around here. And you can see that I have a, a little bit of free play right now. Watch our other videos for how to actually adjust mm -hmm. this. This video is all about um, why we don't like this. Now here's what I don't like. Anytime I ever do one of these on a motorcycle, and we'll go to another one right now and I'll show you, is I always make sure that this this line if you will through here is rotated so that you cannot see the clutch cable what you can see here the cable as it goes through here those are sharp edges inside of there when we disassemble it we'll do some close-ups of it and that is like taking your clutch cable every time you go across here and potentially sawing the cable so we don't we don't like this what we're going to do is i want the ability to be able to rotate this and I can't do that because the cable here, they've crimped these ends to where this won't rotate. So we're going to take and I'm going to drill this so that we can make it so that this piece has the ability that we're, we're going to adjust it traditionally where we're going to take this and we're going to be able to spin this backwards so that you don't have this open part so that the free play can't walk around. We want full coverage of that cable so that it can't be sawed. It's going to lose the function of this automatic ability to adjust this, but we think it's better off to not have this open area and then to actually adjust it in the future, you're going to take and hold this and then be able to adjust this and you'll be able to get your correct free, free play. But we'll go ahead and show you how we'd modify that. But before I do so, let me show you on another motorcycle. Go ahead and take a look at this R1 here. You can see that when we rotate this, that we have to go the other way here. So here is one potential place on here, and I'll, I'll show you here. You can actually take, and that's how you quickly do this, by the way. It's an old dirt bike trick. And you can see here that I do not want to sit and saw that. That's not one piece of wire. That's a bunch of pieces of uh, metal string wound together to create a rope of steel wire. Make sense? So you can see I would not want to saw back and forth across those threads there. So anytime I do one of these, I want to make sure. And then what I do here is I'm going to just snap it. Watch this and pull it around. The service manual doesn't show you that trick, does it? All right, so if I wanted to set the free play on this, that's that distance between here and here. Let's just say I'm happy with this. I would go ahead here and look at the extent that Yamaha did on this bike. Come around the top. Do you see where they put this retainer to hold it in place? Mm -hmm. That is the intent of that. Some have two lock nuts where this will spin down and lock against here. But no matter what, do you see where Yamaha has moved that open portion to the back so that the cable is actually going to rub against just the smooth aluminum in there. Mm -hmm. We're going to make your custom cafe bike do the same thing. Sweet. Brap.
as you can see here, that uh, perch holder will not allow the threaded portion to rotate backwards like we desire. We're going to fix that. Always make sure and test your work. Don't start putting the part back on the bike until you're sure you've done what you needed to do. Not quite, guys. Gotta slow down a second here. Remember that uh, cable that rides through that threaded bolt? Those are mass produced and there's sharp edges in there. How about we take and drill through that, removing those sharp edges, polishing it up, making it really nice and smooth to get rid of all of the inside potential uh, um, areas that could saw that cable. Let's check it out. That's one of the hardest things to teach right there. Notice Brock stopped, even though he measured for the drill bit, but he took and he did a little test fit to make sure that his measurement was correct. Boy, you only get one shot when you're drilling something, when you, but, you, but you can measure multiple times. Check yourself. Got a little tip right here. Uh, these kids are working hard and learning, but I would have rotated that, you know, about uh, 15, 20 degrees where that slot would have been from one side of the vice jaw to the other because the, the jaw right now, if clamped too hard, would actually pinch that shut and your drill bit would then take a lot of material out. They had very slight pressure, drilled it nice, but honestly, they got kind of lucky here. I'm going to add another final thought here that wasn't shown in the video. See this Allen screw right here? You want to go ahead and slightly snug that down, create some drag on that. That acts just like that clip did on the Yamaha R1 example we showed earlier to hold the selected position once it's an adjustment. So that would be your final step and then go and enjoy this motorcycle. Uh, keep wrenching. If you like this video, subscribe. If you like it even more, share it with your friends. Make it great.